Hey guys, uh, Jerome JT62 back here with you for yet another project. I think this is going to be a little treat for you if you're interested in a build video on this. Um, now's the time to do that. Just leave a couple of comments and uh, we can do that. I still have to build a table for this before I get into building it. And if you're wondering what it is, it's a 3D printer. This is a Maker Farm 12 inch Pegasus kit. Um, it's not plastic. There's a few wood pieces I plan on probably replacing with machined aluminum off my CNC mill downstairs. Um, this is going to stay up here. I'm going to make sides for it. In case I want to print ABS um, and even PLA I believe if it's an enclosed environment uh, you get better results but anyway um, what I want to do is an unboxing for you I've already opened the tape on this I received it today and um, came via United States Postal Service priority and I think this the weight of this probably maxed out their weight limits. I believe this is this is very close to 30 pounds, so you know right off the bat there's no no plastic or wood in this thing. So there's a bunch of popcorn in here. Um, we'll go ahead and open this up so you can see what we got here. So you can see the packaging. Uh, Colin at Maker Farm. Um, their reviews are very high. Uh, the guy gets back to you. Um, customer support. You can see the packaging. Very well packaged. Uh, I don't necessarily want the gray PLA, but that's what I'm going to start printing with. I wanted blue, but... Uh, that's not a big deal. At least even semi pink or lime green or something like that. So that's usable. So what we have here is a detailed list so they know that everything was packed. Invoice. If you're wondering how much this cost, um, with everything that I got included with it the basic kit is 600 it's over 800 dollars and by the time you get the power supply and everything else you're probably looking at a thousand bucks so this isn't a cheap kit the quality of it's not cheap as far as i could see get a little bit of swag from somebody there i don't know what that is um you can see the package and let me go ahead and get this popcorn out of here so we can make a little heads or tails of this I think everything's pretty much packaged in boxes after that and we'll go from there all right I think we got most of that popcorn out of here um, go a little bit over what's in here I don't have very much room in here I apologize for that sorry you guys know my videos are shaky uh, I was going to try to do this with my webcam, but um, it's not going to work out. Probably I really need to bite the bullet and get a GoPro or something. Anyway, the filament size that I chose is uh, 175 millimeter. I guess it's, uh, let's see, 1.75. Sorry about that. kit comes with uh, the ramps board right off the bat with the display we won't go ahead and open that if we do a uh, unboxing video or not an unboxing but a build video um, you'll see everything that's included in that you can also go to their website 
I'm not sure what's in here. Everything's all sealed up. Uh, let me pause this and open that up. Uh, this is uh, Kapton tape that I ordered from them. I knew I was going to need it. It's heat resistant tape. I believe this is all the electronics. Uh, we have your gears here. A hot end. They actually give you the upgraded uh, E3D V6 with all all the trimmings, which are this bag here. The when we get to the build video, we'll uh, get this all put together. Again, part of the ramps board. This is the display itself that they send you. There's some etched parts in there, or laser cut, I should say. Harnesses, um, 3D printed parts that I'm going to need. So, we won't go 100% into that box, but pretty good sized box there. We have some brackets here. Uh, this is the actual steel brackets uh, for the XYZ axis, I believe. Those steppers. Uh, it's not wood. Again, like I said, this is this is a rip, very beefy kit. So check their website out, makerfarm.com. Look up the 12-inch Pegasus. I'm not gonna open this box here. Uh, it's all hardware. I know for a fact that it's hardware, so um, I'm going to try to get to build a table for this thing this weekend. At least so I have something to set this on, and then uh, hopefully I can use my webcam and stop the shaky video stuff. But um, we'll go from here. Actually, I went ahead and uh, opened that box up. If I was going to do an unbox, I may as well do it in true fashion here. It's the uh, NEMA 17 stepper motors. Another bag in here. Uh, this is all the hardware. Uh, corner brackets. This one's a hodgepodge of harnesses, screws, tie wraps, you name it in there. I chose the Titan Extruder. Uh, there's a lot of good reviews on it, a lot of good things said about it. So, I plan on maybe trying a Bowden setup. So I did purchase a uh, PTFE tube and the fittings for that. And what that means is that the stepper motor is not on the hot end or the Z-axis itself. So in theory, you can move faster without the momentum of, of weight on there with uh, better prints. Uh, they say there's a downside to the Bowden, which if you're doing flexible material, this may have a problem pushing that. But you can run this Titan direct drive. Uh, it will do 3 millimeter, 1.75 millimeter. They give you the uh, parts for that that's in the box. get that open so that's the extruder comes with mount bracket and everything you need this box here is the heated bed uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and pull that out right now um, 
we'll get to that in the build video. And lastly, those are the frame rails. Uh, so this kit, I believe, is total dimensions are 24 and a half, uh, something like 24, 24 and a half by 23 high. So on the website, these rails are silver. These are black. I really like that. Not your typical silver stuff there. I really like that. Uh, so that means those are anodized. That's nice. So I'll wrap this one up. Uh, if you guys are interested in a step-by-step -step build video of this machine, or you just want to see it put together in sections as I did with my silent air compressor, then we can go that route. But first thing I have to do is get the table done. I should have that done this weekend. That will give us a little bit more time to figure out whether we're going to do a full-blown build video or in sections. I know build videos get very boring. You know, there's a lot of fast forwarding. I prefer myself to do sections. Just tell you what I'm going to do, do the sections, and then move on from there. So please like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching.